In this video, we're talking about how to find the surface area of a regular pyramid. And when we say a regular pyramid, we're talking about a pyramid that has a base that is regular. So a base that's regular means all sides of the base are equal. So in this case, this is the net of a square pyramid. This is a regular pyramid because the base is a square. All four sides of the base are equal to one another. They all have side length s. So this would be a regular pyramid. It would be an example of a square pyramid. But you could also have a regular pyramid that's a triangular pyramid. The triangular base would just be an equilateral triangle. You could also have a regular pentagonal period where all five sides of the pentagonal base were equal, or a regular hexagonal pyramid where all six sides of the hexagonal base were equal to one another. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a square-based pyramid to be a regular pyramid. It's just that all sides of the base have to be equal. So when we have a regular pyramid and we want to find surface area, surface area in general, you'll see it written both ways, this surface area formula. But in general, surface area is going to be equal to L plus B. And in this abbreviation, we just mean the area of the lateral faces, that's L, and the area of the base, that's B. So when we add the area of all of the lateral faces to the area of the base, obviously we're going to get total surface area. You'll also see it written this way as 1 half times L times P plus B. B is the area of the base. L is the lateral height or the height of one of these triangular sides, and P is the perimeter of the base. So for example, if we're told that a pyramid has side length 8, so the length of each side of the base is 8 units, that the lateral height is 9 units, and that the base has 3 sides, we can find the surface area. So really what we want to start with is the fact that the base has 3 sides. In this case, N is the number of sides of the base. So if the base has 3 sides, we're talking about a 3-sided figure which of course is a triangle. So this is a triangular pyramid. The base is a triangle. Of course, since it's a regular pyramid, we know that it's an equilateral triangle where all three sides have equal length. So if we use this formula here, 1 half LP plus B, what we're going to get is surface area is equal to 1 half times the lateral height. Well, we already know that that is 9 times P for perimeter. Well, if we have three sides and each of those sides is eight units long, then we're going to have 24 units as the perimeter. So we multiply by 24. And then we add to that the area of the base. Well, again, if the base is triangular, if we draw a triangular base like this, let's pretend this is our base here. The area of a triangle is always base times height divided by two. So we can say area is going to be equal to base times height divided by 2. Well, we know that the side lengths of the base are 8 units each. So we can go ahead and say 8, 8, and 8. So we know that the length of the base here is 8 units. If we go ahead and draw the height in, and we call this a right triangle, half of the triangle a right triangle, then this half here of the base is 4 units. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the height. So what we can say then is, let's call this a, so we'll say a squared plus 4 squared, or 16, is going to be equal to the length of the hypotenuse squared, so we'll get 64. Then we'll say a squared is equal to 64 minus 16 is 54, 48. And so then when we take the square root of both sides, we're going to get a is equal to 48 is 16 times 3. So we're going to get a is 4 square root 3. So we have then the height of this triangle as 4 square root 3. So then if we say that the area of the base is the base 8 times the height times 4 root 3, all divided by 2, what we're going to get is 8 divided by 2, or 4. 4 times 4 root 3 is going to be 16 square root 3. So the area of the base then is 16 square root 3. And if we do the arithmetic here, we're going to get 9 times 24, or 216. 216 divided by 2 is 108 units. So we're going to get 108 plus 16 root 3. So we can leave it this way or we can do it out on a calculator, but because we're talking about surface area, the units are going to be units squared or square units. Let's do another example here. We've been told that we have side length of 6, we have a lateral height of 7, and we have four sides of the base. Well, if there are four sides of the base, we're talking about a rectangular base. And because we're dealing with regular pyramids, we're talking about a square base. So if we go ahead and draw the net for this, and we're talking about a square base 
like this one maybe. And then we want to go ahead and draw the four lateral sides like this, something like this. This will be the net for our square pyramid. Then we have the net here and we can say that we have a side length of six. So we're going to have six, 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 and six for the side lengths of the base. The lateral height is going to be seven. So this height here is going to be seven for all four lateral faces. And then of course we've got four sides. So if we use our surface area formula again, we can go ahead and say surface area is going to be equal to one half times the lateral height times the perimeter of the base plus the area of the base. So we'll get one half times the value of L, the lateral height, we know that that's seven, we've already been given that, times the perimeter. Well, the perimeter of this square base is obviously just gonna be six times four or 24, so that's the perimeter. And then the area of the base, because this is a square, the math is much simpler than this first example. We just do length times width, or 6 times 6, and we get 36. So the area of the base, then, is 36. When we do the math here, 24 times 1 half is 12. 12 times 7 is 84, so we get 84 plus 36. 84 plus 36 is going to be 120, so we're going to get 120 units squared or 120 square units as the surface area of the square pyramid.